Will the narcissist be any happier with the new person is a question I do get asked a lot. With a narcissist, it's not always the case, but with the majority, nobody falls in love quicker than a narcissist who needs somewhere to live and nobody moves someone in faster than a narcissist who needs to be validated by someone else. When your ex moves straight on, possibly even seeing them before you broke up, you might still be in the mindset of, if only I'd have done this, or was it me? No, it wasn't you. If you were with a narcissist, they turned on they turned all the blame onto you with lots of different manipulation techniques from the idolization stage, lies, gaslighting, silent treatment, financial abuse, projection, social media, triangulation and blame shifting. Just like, no, it wasn't you. No, they will not be any happier with the new person. You might be hoping that they will treat the new person kinder, that you taught them how to treat people right. And now they're going to do all that with someone else and not with you. You may then feel a bit jealous and you might feel sorry for the new person. These are all normal emotions and normal feelings in this situation. You might even want to reach out and warn the new person. I do not recommend this. You can try, but it's not helping them. It actually helps the narcissist as most likely they will have smeared your name and you'll be playing into the narcissist's hands looking crazy. The narcissist will have already told the new person everything they did to you you did to them. So when you then reach out to try and help them, it it almost backs up the narcissist lies. The narcissist may have already told them that you stalk them and will stop at nothing to get them back. The new person will be in that idolization stage. They will be happy and they'll feel they've met the soulmate as you did at the start. So you have to stop and think, you might have had people warn you and you probably didn't do anything about it or stop and think if someone had have warned you and you were in that idolization stage where they are treating you so right, would you have actually listened to them or listened to the person that's putting you on that pedestal and treating you so nicely? Unfortunately, we do have to leave the new person to work it out for themselves And no, it's not going to be any better for the new person if they have at least five of the characteristics. If the narcissist has at least five of the characteristics, they have a disorder. It is who they are. They can change their lies. They can change their manipulation. They can change their partner. They cannot change their true selves. They cannot take that disorder out of them. And the narcissistic personality disorder is a reason behind their behavior. It is never an excuse to abuse somebody else. So when they move straight on with someone new, all you're seeing or hearing is the love bombing stage that they used on you. What you're seeing is that illusion, the same illusion that you had in the beginning. Narcissistic abuse is a cycle that you need to break free from. Each stage lasts a different length of time depending on the narcissist, depending on the person with the with and depending on the situation. So they will love bomb the idealization stage. They will then begin to devalue people, realizing that they're human. The gaslighting, which they often do from the start, the silent treatments, the financial abuse and many more. The discard where they might smear your name. Um, The hoover, if it's not working how they wanted with the new, so they come back to you and they repeat. If that's with you or someone new, they just continue that same pattern time and time again. The narcissist is not happy with the new person. It's only the excitement of having something new. We are like an appliance to them where we buy a new phone and discard it when it's not working. If we crack the screen on the phone, we might see if we can use an old phone while we get the screen fixed or we buy a new one. This is precisely how narcissistic people treat people. They will seem happy as the new person hasn't worked out yet 
what's going on. The narcissist is love bombing and enjoying all the positive attention from the new person. The new person in the outside world is only seeing that admiration face and they believe they've met their soulmate and they will be showering the narcissist with attention as we once did. Um, you don't, we don't see that we were being abused and they don't see that they're being abused. So they will appear the happy, loved up couple. To the outside world, the narcissist with the new person, whilst their needs are being met, they will seem happy. As soon as they are no longer getting their needs met and their egos crushed, the mask slips and you get that envious face. They need constant attention, whether that's um, positive attention or negative attention. When this stops, when they feel criticised, the anger, the rage the resentfulness and the insecure narcissist strikes. Narcissists cannot create that true inner happiness. They can most often, with the good percentage of them, they cannot be alone for too long. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, they need to be good at everything they want to be good looking or they want to be rich or they want to be smart they feel entitled they want to be better than everybody else they need to feel above others um they need to own the best things they need to find someone that will idolize them and then they crush that person when they feel criticized a narcissist cannot self-validate they only validate others in the love bombing stage to get that validation they need within themselves. A narcissist doesn't have the empathy, so they don't truly understand compassion for other people. They don't know how to be a decent person. If they feel like they're going to get caught out, they can, they have some control over it because they're not like it with everybody all the time, wherever they are, whoever they're with. The abusive narcissist does not come out 24-7. So they have some control. They can recognize with cognitive empathy thinking skills, they can recognize how other people would perceive them. So they have the control in a sense of they can do it if they can behave and conform to society, whatever society. I still believe you need to live life your way and as long as you're kind and a good person to other people, it's your life to live how you want with your beliefs. But they can conform with what society believes right and, right and wrong, law and order, to keep people safe in front of people they can control that if they believe they're not going to get caught out they're not going to get find out then that rage appears and they will be abusive when a narcissist is alone they often can't cope and they feel like they're dying because they can't validate themselves and they are miserable people some are extremely abusive, horrible people. They need to get those compliments and that validation from others to make them feel better. Narcissists believe they are perfect. Even if they have it good, they will always be looking for bigger and better. The problem is none of us are perfect. We are all imperfectly perfect so they will never be able to achieve this we all make mistakes in life and they always pass that mistake on to those around them so they never learn from their own mistakes if the narcissist has moved on you need to switch your mindset and find the reason and i know it's incredibly difficult if it's only just happened to you but switch your mindset and find the reason to be grateful that you now have an opportunity to leave the past behind, work on your present to create that better future and to find somebody who loves you and treats you with respect, who treats you how you treat people. You can now build yourself back up and yes, it can be very hard. It's baby steps each and every day. 
it's not always a nice way to look at it, but being grateful for that new person for taking them off your hands and hoping that that new person gets out unscathed. The English playwright John Haywood wrote, Rome wasn't built in a day, but they were laying bricks every day. So celebrate any achievement you make, no matter how big, no matter how small. You'll soon see you are making what you thought was impossible, possible. If you are at the start and want revenge, this is it. And it's normal to feel like you want revenge when somebody has treated you so wrong and hurt you so much. But the best revenge is you can be happy. You can be everything the narcissist wants to be, yet they never can. You can move on with your life. You And the thing about this revenge is you're not harming anyone by doing so. You are, in, you are allowed to live life how you want. So finding your happiness, finding your success... Others have done this before you and you will do it too. You will be happy. Unlike the narcissist where karma hits them every time as they cycle around, never learning, never achieving. They are so deeply unhappy and insecure with low self-esteem on the inside, which is why most often once you've come out of that kind of relationship, a lot of people question, am I the narcissist? No, they've just when you've been when you've been around them for so long negativity breeds negativity narcissism breeds narcissism so it does not make you a narcissist but you will have learned behaviors from them that you can unlearn um as long as you have empathy towards other people you are not the narcissist you cannot help them as they do not see themselves as the problem to them it is always someone else that's caused the issues within their lives you can however recognize reflect and you can help and heal yourself walk free enjoy life love yourself again the narcissist cannot and will not even if one ever did, it will not be the person that you fell in love with. You fell in love with the narcissist who mirrored you in everything you do. So in some ways, you actually fell in love with you, with who you were. And you can do this again. Trust in yourself. You can build your life back up again to who you want to be and how you want to live it. And listen to different advice, read different advice, but stay true to you. If you don't agree with what someone is saying, you do not have to take that advice on board. Find the ones that you do agree with. Focus on your own opinions. Um, as I say, with good intentions, there is no wrong way and no right way to live your life. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers. Welcome to the channel, to all the new people listening. Uh, if you are new, please do subscribe. This channel is all about the narcissistic personality disorder to give people more understanding of what they've been through, different methods and techniques and tips to try to heal and recover and most importantly, build that new life, that new happier life, that new you, work out who you are and create new goals, create new dreams, create new visions. I am currently working through video requests. This is one I've been asked for quite a bit recently. They are all coming on over the next couple of weeks. If you have any advice for anybody, this channel is all about building a community of survivors to help each other out. So if you had any have any advice, please do add it in the comments. If there's anything you want more information on, again, please add that in the comments. I am working through them. They will be on over the next few weeks. I shall add some videos in the uh, description box on creating a happier new a happier new creating a happier you creating boundaries and how to do no contact because if they have just left those are the things that you want to be looking into at that present at this present time uh, i'll also add um where you can find me on social media and some of the online courses that i run 
Thank you very much for listening. Bye.